For this project, I'll be starting off with foam boards from the Dollar Tree. I'll be using two foam boards for this project and they will be attached together with tape. Today's project is a quick and easy cornice that will be for the window. This is a window treatment that anyone can do because all you need would just be foam boards and other items from the Dollar Tree. If you want to make this in your home, you're going to have to use the measurements for your windows. The width is going to be according to how wide your window is. And the height that I'm using for this cornice is going to be 15 inches. What's going to be at the top is going to be 5 inches wide. And I'm going to be making a light groove. That way the whole port does not come out. It's going to be easy and looks like a flap just like this. Now I'm going to use tape on it just to secure it properly. When I'm done, I'm going to be holding everything together with hot glue. This is what I'm going to be working with. Now, when I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it silver. But this is what happens when you use Dollar Tree foam boards. But not to worry because I'm going to be covering it up with bling wrap. You can use the Dollar Tree bling wrap for this and it will be so much easier because they're self-adhesive. Now, because I didn't have that in my local Dollar Tree, I'm going to be using the bling wrap that I have at home. Because the bling wrap that I'm using is not wide, I'm going to add it in such a way that it would minimize the lines that would show where the join is. When you mount this up on the window, this is what it looks like. And it was looking too plain. I mean, you could leave it like this, but then I decided to bring it down and make a design on it. I'll be making a slight arc in the middle and then decorating the edges. This is going to be covered before I then decorate the edges with a trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now because this is straight, the ribbon will not be able to give me a good look if I use it on an arc. So because of that, I will glue it on anyway and then make a cut where I have a curve. And then when I'm done, I'm going to be adding pieces to fill it up to make it look like a whole piece. These are the empty spaces that I have that I will be covering up with cutout pieces. I'll be adding something decorative at the corners that I got from Lowe's and it's a leftover from another project. So this is where I'm going to be mounting the cornice. And as you can see, all I'm doing now is just simply hanging it on top of the existing rod for the curtain. This window here is never open. That was why I made my corners like this. But if you'd like to make yours on a window that's constantly open, you will have to make provision for a hook. I have something gold that's by the side on the wall there. So I'm gonna be making another design for this time around in gold. I'll be doing the exact same thing that I did for the other two foam boards that I use in making the other corners. Now with this one, there's no spray painting. I'm just gonna go straight ahead for the design. This is a 16 inch round board that I'll be using as my guide to give me the shape that I want for this design. I drew 
three semicircles starting from the middle and two by the sides and then carving the shape out in such a way that it would give me a nice and unique pattern for the window treatment. If I had a dark curtain, I would just leave it the way it is and maybe use a black contact paper and then use bling wrap like this. But like I said, I need to use gold, so I'll be using this table runner and I'll be using two for this project. I'm gonna cut it in such a way that it won't be easily noticeable, join them together, glue them to the foam boards, and then cut it to fit the design that I had made on the boards. The next thing I'll do is add the bling wrap to the design. I'll be mounting this one the same way I mounted the other one. Now with this design, I'm going to leave it just the way it is because it's how I like it. But then you can add other embellishments to it if you like. The height for this design is good, but with the curves, I'm gonna reduce it just a bit because I think in the drawing that I made, it was not supposed to be this deep. So to solve that, I'm just gonna reduce it just a bit to see what it looks like. This is what I have after cutting it and it still looks pretty. If you want a much bolder statement, you can leave it the way it was before the cut. Now, however you have this design, it's still going to look pretty. If you would like other window treatments using Dollar Tree table runners, I do have a video for that and the link is going to be down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.